Hey, we're currently in Weeper just having a break from the PDR. We thought we'd share some tips on caravan preparation and protecting your van for roads such as the PDR. The biggest and most obvious event we have is your fridge vent. Duct tape and tape it up. Okay, so when you've got your fridge vent finally taped up, there's some considerations with this. One, if you have a gas fridge, you need to uncover this before you turn on your gas, very important. With a compressor fridge as well, we've found that in the hot areas, the, the fridge fan works really, really well to use less electricity through the fridge. So we uncover this so we can use a fridge fan and it vents much more efficiently and uses um, less power. So that's a good thing. Previously made a video dust proofing your caravan door. Have a look at our webpage or on our YouTube channel. Don't forget to tap up any other tunnel boots or vents like micro vents that dust can get through. Something that's more permanent and perhaps can be considered before you leave home or well before you take these roads. Um, we didn't and I learned the hard way um, with some broken plumbing and I need to have some stuff sent up and, and do some plumbing on the side of the road. But um, that's all, can, well mostly can be avoided um, by doing this with the pool noodle and some duct tape. I'll just show you what we got. All the plumbing has been lagged. So I've lagged all the, um, the pipes there. The other thing I made sure of is that I tap on the water tank. It looks pretty dodgy, but it's been there for a long time and we haven't had any other incidents. Obviously water tanks are very important, so we need to make sure that they're pretty secure. Um, there is a lot of rock strike underneath your van, regardless of what sort of rock uh, tamers or stone stompers, whatever type of rock guard you're using, there will be a lot of rock strike and inevitably will be some damage. Um, so this just minimizes um, that sort of stuff. Tire pressures are very important. Don't forget to have a tire deflator and a compressor. Don't be afraid to lower your tire pressures if your roads become particularly ordinary. And don't neglect the car tires either. After a day of driving on corrugated roads, we recommend that you check your tires and wheels pretty well, especially taking extra attention to check your wheel nuts. Anecdotally, most uh, damage is done on these roads with tires and wheels, so check them carefully. Thanks for watching and leave us a comment if you think there's something we can add.